health, infrastructure, recreation and tourism. As part of this, the New Literature Publishing and Translation Commission, LPTC, was established in the Government's Ministry of Culture with a mandate to foster more publishing activities in the country. Professional education for publishers is part of the agenda. The Commission is also concerned with developing the publishing industry to the highest standards, supporting Saudi literature locally and internationally while creating an investment environment with international standards. This includes publications of all kinds of literature, print, audio and electronic books. Increasing investments in the Saudi publishing market, regu regulating the local publishing market and improving its work environment. At this point of time, when Saudi publishing industry is growing, and needs global expertise and investments, India has great opportunity to hold joint exercises to fulfill their ambitions. Saudi Arabia under, under its vision 2030 is seeking greater in, in, international cooperation for development. India is one of the natural choices for it for both a long historical and cultural relations as well as India's emergence as an engine of economic growth. For the, the post-COVID economic recovery, the partnership between the two countries is already at a remarkable pitch. Today it is looking up to a new height for a win-win engagement. The publishing industry in India is counted among the top seven publishing nations in the world, with an estimated market of Indian rupees 10,000 crores. India ranks third after the US and UK in English language publishing. India and Saudi Arabia can cooperate in the fields of audiobook trends, children's books publishing, distribution challenges, and translation of each other's literature. With the publication of more than 1.4 billion people, among them 19 crore people believe Arabic language as their religious language, most of them can read it, and a large number of people learn Arabic language and literature in madrasas and universities. Most central and state universities have Arabic language departments, so India remains a distinct destination for Saudi publishing industry for investing in Indian market. 2030 program of Saudi Arabia prioritized translation. According to an official of Saudi Arabia, the industry would like to see 25,000 book translators, books translated in few years with up to 5,000 coming from English. Literature Publishing and Translation Commission of Saudi Arabia has already funded 292 books and 42 academic journals in 2021. It has doubled the number of grants, grants in 2022. He further said, we are actively looking for books in key subjects areas that have been under, underserved by translation such as philosophy, non-fiction, children's books and graphic novels. India and Saudi Arabia can work together to translate books because there are good translators in India who charge less than European translators. Saudi Arabia has signed a number of deals with international publishing houses to, re to nurture literary culture in the kingdom and promote Saudi works worldwide. King Abdulaziz Foundation for Research and Archive, Dara, has signed the deals with several printing, publishing and distribution agencies to expand the reach of the foundation's publications. The agreement was signed on the sidelines of the 2022 Riyadh International Book Fair. The Indian publishing industry has great potential for similar deals with Saudi Arabia. A delegation of Indian publishers has participated in Riyadh International Book Fair 2022 and publishers meet. Various books of different publishers were, uh, were uh, released in this book fair. Unfortunately, Saudi publishers are not participating in this Delhi book fair. Also, the delegations from Saudi Arabia's Literature Publishing and Translation Commission cannot be discussed here. In forthcoming events, India should invite them to discuss cooperation in the fields of printing, publishing and translation. Printing in Saudi Arabia is expensive, so books prices are high and uh, providing low-cost printing facilities in India, India could also become a printing hub for Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries. Saudi Arabian publishing houses and research centers are interested in the publishing of manuscripts and rare books preserved in India in hundreds of public and private libraries 
and many private collections across India, which treasure hundreds of thousands of Arabic manuscripts, many of which were brought from Hejaz, Yemen, Iraq, and Egypt over centuries. Some of the famous Indian libraries which treasure a collection of Arabic manuscripts, the Reza Library, Ram, or the Azad Library of Alibaba Muslim University, both of China and Assyria and Lucknow, Rajasthan Oriental Research Institute of Tom, Jamia Sahiya Library in Surat, B. Muhammad Shah, Dharga Library of Ahmedabad, Khudabaksh Library in Patna, Library of Asiatic Society in Kolkata, <coughs> Sarajan Museum Library, State Central Library and uh, in Hyderabad and many others. Each of them has thousands of Arabic manuscripts. King Abdulaziz Foundation for Research and Archives and Direct of Marif Usmani Hyderabad can sign a deal to edit and revive the manuscripts. In conclusion, we can say that India and Saudi Arabia have shared uh, values, cultures, traditions and ambitions. <coughs> Vision 2030 is a great force behind the common growth, uh, behind the economic growth and publishing activities in Saudi Arabia. A 2020 uh, education policy 2022 is a great change in Indian education system. It is, it is expected that new education policy would enhance publishing activities in India. India and Serbia Arabia can jointly work on children, books, literary, cultural and science books. They can also work on electronic and audio books. Thank you very much.